Today I will discuss about why myopic patient accept over correction of myopia comfortably during refraction. In practice it's found that patient accept minus power more easily than plus power. Not only minus power is accepted easily but also over correction of myopia is also accepted by the patient easily. Thus most practitioners are more comfortable with minus power than plus power. You might be thinking why does patient accept even over correction of myopia comfortably? Let's see in the next slide. Let's take an example for easy understanding. A patient with myopia of minus 2.5 diopter may see clearly even with minus 3 diopter or minus 3.5 diopter also. Let's see how. Without correction, when patient is focusing at infinity, rays coming from object focus in front of the retina. This distance from retina to point where rays focus is equivalent to minus 2.5 diopter as patient is having my payoff minus 2.5 diopter. Now if we place a minus 1 diopter concave lens in the spectacle plane, it will diverge the rays towards the retina somewhere here. Now patient will see clearer as compared to previous but still won't be able to read 6x6 line as patient is still having my payoff minus 1.5 diopter. If we place a minus 2.5 diopter concave lens at the spectacle plane, the rays will focus on the retina and patient will see crystal clear and will be able to read 6x6 line. Now if we place a minus 3 diopter concave lens, still patient will see crystal clear and will be able to read 6x6 line. Let's see how in the next slide. If we place a minus 3 diopter concave lens at the spectacle plane, the rays will focus behind the retina and as rays focusing behind the retina, patient should see blur, but it doesn't happen. When rays focus behind the retina, accommodation gets stimulated and bring back the rays on the retina and as rays focusing on the retina, patient will see clearly and will read 6x6 line comfortably. This is the reason why does myopic patient sees clearly or able to read 6x6 line even with overcorrection of myopia. So myopic patient sees clear or able to read 6x6 line even with overcorrection by the help of accommodation. Now let's see what are the consequences if we left the patient with overcorrection during our refraction. When we left a myopic patient with overcorrection, patient will accommodate more than the required at any point. Suppose for the above patient we left with minus 0.5 diopter overcorrection. Now while he will read book at 40 cm, generally he needs 100 divided by 40 or 2.5 diopter of accommodation. But as we have given minus 0.5 diopter overcorrection, he will accommodate 2.5 plus 0.5 or 3 diopter at 40 cm. Even at infinity where accommodation should be zero but due to overcorrection of myopia of minus 0.5 diopter accommodation will be 0.5 diopter at infinity. Due to this overuse of accommodation patient may develop asthenopic symptoms or headache, lead of accommodation in long run and myopia progression. You might be thinking how does overcorrection of myopia increase myopia progression? Let's see in the next slide. There are two main mechanisms of myopia progression when we left the patient with overcorrection of myopia. One, continuous ciliary muscles construction. Two, peripheral defocus. Continuous ciliary muscles construction. To correct the overcorrection of myopia, accommodation is activated at any point from near point to infinity. Continuous activation of accommodation needs continuous contraction of ciliary muscles. And continuous contraction of ciliary muscles is a stimulus for myopia progression. Stimulus are sent to the brain to increase the axial length of eye so that rays can focus on the retina without overuse of accommodation. Peripheral defocus. Accommodation corrects the blur due to overcorrection of myopia for central vision or central rays. The peripheral rays focus behind the retina due to aberration of concave lens or retinal curvature. Those peripheral rays acts as a stimulus for myopia progression. Stimulus are sent to the brain to increase the axial length of eye so that peripheral rays can focus on the retina. 
in the next video i will discuss about how can we prevent overcorrection of myopia during our refraction till then stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly